Recently, an image of a large spherical object passing in front of the sun has been shared around social media, and some who have seen it believe that it represents an unidentified object. The recent object's appearance in our solar system has raised concerns among enthusiasts who speculate that it could be a rogue planet or a massive spaceship. Interestingly, those who study the unknown have said that this is a relatively common occurrence. Reports of strange anomalies near the Sun often involve objects that appear to be spherical, disc-shaped, or even elongated. These objects are often described as having a metallic or reflective appearance and are observed in the vicinity of solar flares or other solar activities. Some witnesses have reported seeing these objects enter or exit the Sun's surface, while others claim they are simply hovering or moving in close proximity to it. Those who measured the object said that it was massive, and noted that it only appeared on screen for a matter of seconds. Although it is not known who originally uploaded the image, it's reported that they quickly took a screenshot before the strange object vanished. The phenomenon of unidentified objects has fascinated and intrigued people for decades. While most sightings occur within Earth's atmosphere, there have been numerous reports being observed in outer space. These alleged sightings have raised questions about the existence of advanced life and the possibility of advanced civilizations beyond our planet. However, NASA said that the blue sphere that appears in some images captured by NASA's spacecraft is not an actual physical object, but rather an unintended result of a peculiar effect in the camera's mechanism. As the camera observes the Sun's surface and transmits its images to Earth, the blue sphere emerges as an unexpected outcome of the camera's operation. NASA has explained that the sensor responsible for processing images before dissemination can occasionally become overwhelmed, distorting the images and misrepresenting things that do not exist. Consequently, the purported blue sphere that enthusiasts were intrigued by does not exist, which implies that the actuality is less fascinating than anticipated. According to NASA's website, there are times when the image processor on board the spacecraft becomes overloaded and generates distorted images. Typically, these images appear as though they are from a different telescope rather than the one they were taken with. NASA said that occasionally, the heliospheric imager telescopes capture double exposures in their images, where multiple telescope data are combined due to the method of creating the images by adding up numerous exposures. It seems that the image displays two photos of the Sun blending together. Although NASA said that this explains these types of sightings, some theorists speculate that objects seen near the Sun could be evidence of advanced technology. According to this perspective, these objects could be spacecraft or probes sent by an advanced civilization to harness energy from the Sun or to monitor our solar system. Proponents of this theory argue that the Sun's immense energy and resources would be highly valuable to advanced civilizations, and it would make sense for them to establish a presence near our star. However, it is important to approach these claims with a critical mindset. The lack of substantial evidence and the potential for misinterpretation of visual phenomena make it challenging to draw definitive conclusions about the nature and origin of these alleged objects near the Sun. Skeptics argue that most of these sightings can be explained by known natural phenomena or camera artifacts, and that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Moreover, the harsh conditions near the Sun, including intense heat, radiation and gravitational forces pose significant challenges for any object or spacecraft to approach it closely. To gain a better understanding of these sightings, further scientific investigation is necessary. Advanced imaging technologies such as high-resolution cameras and spectroscopic instruments could be employed to capture more detailed and accurate data of these alleged objects near the Sun. Additionally, Coordinated observations from multiple space-based and ground-based observatories could help validate or debunk the claims. As of right now, the sightings of unidentified objects near the Sun have sparked curiosity and debate within certain communities. While some theories suggest natural phenomena or camera artifacts as explanations, others propose the involvement of advanced technology. However, the lack of substantial evidence and the challenging conditions near the Sun make it difficult to reach definitive conclusions. Further scientific investigation and rigorous analysis are necessary to shed light on the true nature of these alleged sightings and to discern fact from fiction.
SIMP J01365663 plus 09334073. You may be wondering what exactly this refers to. Well, scientists have discovered a huge rogue object floating around our stellar neighborhood with an extremely strong magnetic field. The most intriguing part is that it is in no way at all attached to any other object out in space. In other words, it does not orbit a parent star of any kind. Using the Very Large Array radio telescope, astronomers were able to detect the miscellaneous object, which sits 20 light-years away from Earth. Aside from the discovery itself, this is of huge scientific importance as it represents the first planetary mass object which has been detected using radio telescope. With its dimensions only just making it into the planetary classification bracket, the new discovery is 12.7 times more massive than Jupiter, making it so big that it verges on being more like a brown dwarf, also known as a failed star. According to the definition presented by IAW Working Group on Extrasolar Planets, a brown dwarf more specifically refers to an object too small to produce hydrogen fusion, the dominant energy-producing method seen in stars, but is still large enough for deuterium fusion, a process crucial to the formation of new stars. They tend to range in sizes between 13 to 80 times the mass of Jupiter. Being 12.7 times larger, SIMP J01365663 plus 09334073 sits on the border of planet versus brown dwarf and an astronomer from Arizona State University has said that this phenomenon could give invaluable insight into understanding the magnetic processes of both stars and planets. The planetary mass discovered, as mentioned, has a very strong surrounding magnetic field. This supports newer theories that brown dwarfs do engage in magnetic activities, whereas up to 2001 it was thought they did not emit any radio waves. In fact, the magnetic field that astronomers found in this case was a whopping 200 times the strength of Jupiter's own magnetic field. It's suggested that its radius is only 1.22 times the size of Jupiter's, despite being significantly more massive, and estimates suggest that it is only about 200 million years old. In extraterrestrial terms, this makes it an infant, which makes sense considering it was found in a cluster of very young stars. With the potential for this discovery to really allow scientists to make headway in understanding magnetic fields of planets, stars and gas giants, it is an exciting time for astronomers and who knows what else lies lurking in space for us to find. Tatooine-like planet spotted from Earth, Kepler-16b We often wonder what it would be like for aspects of our favourite films to come to life. We might be far away from schools full of wizards or the competition of the Hunger Games, but we might have stumbled across a real-life Tatooine. Whilst it is an incredible claim to have allegedly found a setting from such a huge sci-fi franchise, the home of Luke Skywalker might not be all too different than Kepler-16b. Much like Tatooine, if you were to stand on the surface of Kepler-16b, there would be two sunsets taking place. Kepler-16b is an uncommon, rare exoplanet. It orbits two stars at once, with these two stars also orbiting one another. This is what is known as a binary star system and is the same explanation given to the two sunsets on Tatooine in Star Wars. So far, we have only made observations using the Kepler Space Telescope based in France at the Observatoire de Haute-Provence. The telescope clocking in at 193 cm was used and the team of astronomers applied the radial velocity method, allowing for the planet to be detected within the already known system. The radial velocity method involved observing the change in the velocity of a star as the planet orbits around it. When this dips, it is assumed something has passed by, hopefully, and it was in this case, an exoplanet. It is a significant detail that Kepler-16b was discovered using this method. It is a reminder and proof that we do not need to send expensive, extravagant spacecrafts off in order to gain valuable information and make significant advancements. It is more than possible to use these more traditional methods to stumble across something great. One might argue that even without considering the cost, time and overall inefficiency of sending spacecrafts, that the radial velocity method might still come out as a more practical choice. 
This method is typically more sensitive to and easily impacted by the other planets in a system, signaling to us where additional bodies we might not have considered might be. It also clues us in on the mass of a planet, providing measurements of what may be considered a planet's most fundamental property. Having demonstrated the success and effectiveness of using radial velocity on Kepler-16b, the team, based in the University of Birmingham, plans to conduct future research, continuing to search for circumbinary planets relying on the radial velocity method. The hope is that this can help to uncover a little more about how planets are formed. There isn't lots of information on hand regarding the formation of planets within circumbinary systems. Typically, planets are thought to be formed within the dust and gas surrounding young stars, an environment known as a protoplanetary disk, though we are not sure if this process is even possible within a circumbinary system. With there being two stars, this could interfere with the process as we know it. There is plenty of research for us to continue exploring, with new methods, new questions and new objects of interest. We will never be finished exploring beyond our skies. Mysterious Cosmic Flashes Pinpointed to a Surprising Location in Space Elusive flashes across the night sky have been spotted by scientists. These mysterious blasts of light have been recognized as fast radio bursts. With the use of radio telescopes, astronomers were able to find that these bursts occur within ancient stars. These fast radio bursts are extremely erratic and short-lived. First uncovered in 2007, they have been a marvel for astronomers since their discovery, only able to be spotted via radio telescopes. The energy released by a singular flash equals the energy the Sun unleashes in an entire day. These bursts are random and all around from all sorts of various galaxies. Hundreds of these flashes occur daily. Franz Christen and Kenzie Nemo, scientists from Astron in the Netherlands, have assembled a team to try and analyze this phenomenon deeper. Through their research in January of 2020, they discovered that a constant origin of these flashes is in the Ursa Major constellation. According to Kirsten, we wanted to look for clues to the burst's origins. Using many radio telescopes together, we knew we could pinpoint the source's location in the sky with extreme precision. That gives the opportunity to see what the local neighborhood of a fast radio burst looks like. Cosmic measurements were taken by the EVN, European VLBI network telescopes from various European countries such as Germany, Sweden, Latvia and Poland as well as others. Once they finally gathered the results, they were shocked to find the location of the radio flashes was the one place they never anticipated, in the close-by galaxy of Messier 81, known more commonly as M81, which lies an estimated 12 million light-years away, making it the closest known source of these radio bursts to our little blue planet. Furthermore, M81 has the globular cluster which is a huge grouping of archaic stars. Nemo stated, It's amazing to find fast radio bursts from a globular cluster. This is a place in space where you only find old stars. Further out in the universe, fast radio bursts have been found in places where stars are much younger. This had to be something else. The leading theory is that magnetar's dense remains of supernovae that are highly magnetic are the main sources of galactic radio bursts. Jason Hessels of the University of Amsterdam and part of the Astron Radio Burst project claims, we expect magnetars to be shiny and new and definitely not surrounded by old stars. So if what we're looking at here really is a magnetar, then it can't have been formed from a young star exploding. There has to be another way. As such, the current belief is that the magnetar must have been created by a white dwarf once its mass became so great it caved in on itself. This theory is backed by Kirsten. Strange things happen in the multi-billion year life of a tight cluster of stars. Here we think we're seeing a star with an unusual story. Not all stars become supernovas. Some, like our Sun, is going to and will develop into white dwarfs. These small yet dense cosmic objects shine bright and there are many such stars in the ancient cluster. According to Mohit Bardwaj of the Canadian McGill University, if one of the white dwarfs can catch enough extra mass from its companion, it can turn into an even denser star, known as a neutron star. That's a rare occurrence, 
but in a cluster of ancient stars, it's the simplest way of making fast radio bursts. This discovery might reshape how astronomers understand magnetars and stars. Further research into these radio bursts might unlock a myriad of new extraordinary findings. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.